Alrighty, good morning to you. You are still watching Hashtag Why in the Morning and you're hanging out with me, Brian Sakwa. And on this segment, Hashtag MCM, we are all about great conversation, lots of fun and laughter in just a bit. We are going to delve into an interesting conversation about Nairobi, okay? Nairobi. You know, Nairobi is just unique. And like I said before, we should continue making movies about the city. And on that note, we had asked you a question on our social media platform pale facebook instagram na twitter yetu tulikuwa tumeuliza question ni ni mta gani nairobi uliishi na huwezi rudi hata ukipewa nyumba for free yani hata waseme kuja 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 na familia yako yote invite your aunties your sisters your cousin kujeni muishi for free huwezi hata kwa damu kwa kifo kwa pesa that's the question ni mta gani nairobi uliishi na huwezi rudi hata ukipewa nyumba for free okay that's the question and uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Kumbuka ni Y254 channel, Instagram ni Y254 underscore channel. Mine's is at Brian Sakwa 101. Now back to the conversation of the day still on Nairobi Chronicles. We are just going to, to delve into an interesting conversation about Nairobi. What are some of the attributes uh, of inhabitants of this city? Onajua kuna venye, kuna venye ukishi Nairobi, kuna expectations flani wa sewa ushagu ukuwa nazo and then kuna ile kuna ile design ametoka Nairobi but you know Nairobi in itself is a whole they say it's a big bedroom is it one small bedroom or big bedroom I'll leave that assignment to you to decide. So we're going to talk about that in just a bit. And uh, joining me right about now is a very powerful gentleman. He's going to actually be one of the participants and contributors of this conversation. Good morning. Welcome yes. back. Karibu sana, brother. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah. How was the election? How did it take you? Uh, it was awesome and peaceful. Yeah. Uh, we, I think good. Did your candidate win? <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, some, some. Somehow, somehow. Yes, some. Somehow. Yeah. But anyways, a story for another day. Back to the conversation of the day. But then let me ask you. Ni mtagani Nairobi wezi ishi atukitiwa. Useme kujeni, 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 kujeni. Kujadi na ex wako ote. Kujeni. Some parts to same as all. Kuna some parts za kibra, kayole. Siwezi. Mbona? Mbona? Okay. Okay. Uli yeah. kwa na experience gani kwa hizo area? Sama nini ulisikia wasi wa kisema? Ika kujia kakwambia, eh, mi sidae Kibra. Ok, so the Kibra, ok, I've been there. Ni story na hygiene and all that. It's just pathetic by the way. Yeah. And uh, it has gone over years, no change in anything or anything. Ah, uh, then kayole unasikia tu umtama crimes, kaza, the, 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 what they talk about. So, those in that direct experience. Yeah. Yeah, but can feel it yeah mm. okay uh, back back to kanairo speaking of kibra kuna 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 facade flani ama kuna notion flani ya uh, unatoka nairobi mm. na kuna my expectations and you wengi kwa nazo especially like uh, we had a conversation and you told me ume, ume tangu kwa nairobi uko merudi ushago for a very long time yeah. na time elections ili come mzaa akasema hey itabidi urudi itabidi urudi but then wale wasi uliacha home Depending on wherever uh, village you come from, ama wherever up country you natoka, kuna venye wakisikia uni mse wa Nairobi, wakona expectations. Wanajua Nairobi umse, anakula life fiti, akona job. Uh -huh. Yeah, by the way, that's a, let me say that's a challenge. Uh -huh, it's okay. a challenge. Yeah. Just leave alone the story of Nairobi. Is in Nairobi, ako wapo campus, in YouTuber. Hey! Then going back home, people are like, they, they, they really need, a, they really expect a lot from you. And your personal, your personal life, Ukikuja Uku, it's just another city. Because yeah. uh, Nairobi is at all the capital city, but then at personal life, to go in different places, experiencing different lifestyle, doing different hustles and stuff. So, Ukiwa Apo Kwanzu Meka for a very long time, these people want to expect to come, Nikama Ulienda Koko invest. You really yeah. invested, and now you need to give back to the society at Nini. So, yeah. The expectation, expectation is really so high. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, true. True. And speaking of expectations, unajua kuna, especially ukiwa na mzazi, for example, any student, uko campus, and I expect ukimaliza kusoma kampu, utafte kazi. Na usiku na muitisha fair kila saa, usiku na muitisha pesa za upkeep, kwa za najue, alikupeleka campus, akamaliza responsibilities zake, the rest is up to you. 
kuna venye ni ngumu tu sijui kama kuna wasi wenye ndasema ni ngumu kupata kazi but mm. kanairo like they say is just another bedroom in itself yeah. utakuta tu ni makona hapa na pale ma challenges kama <coughs> gani ndio zenye maybe wasiosha go hawaelewangi msaki wa Nairobi kuna pressure tu ingine hapo ya aina yake yenye ile wake from your experience ni pressure kama gani unaona especially my boy child upitia ama in general tu okay this notion that he, like ukiambia mtu I'm broke like amekupigia kutoka home and they're like by the way I'm broke I need some amount nisaidie it it will be very hard for you this person to kukusaidia and be like ah unaniambiaje uko broke na uko Nairobi how and they expect you really have money so uko yes like unaweza kuwa na dough unapata umetumiwa pesa but then unaweza kutumia 200 leo they una mumba pesa in two weeks time like pesa yake imeisha aje like you're misusing money ajui this 200 bob cannot even take you for a half a day so yeah it's it's really hard it's really hard for for that nini so the boy child wanaangalia hey dem the girl child anafaa kuangaliwa sana they need that stuff like any boy child hey ngangana like you really need to fight for your life yeah yeah na kuna venye pia ni kama for example ki compare dem akienda kutafuta job na boy child kuna venye dem anaweza chukuliwa haraka and then boy child wa kuweke pending kidogo do you think it's a very common factor in nairobi especially kwa job hunting cuz hata kutafuta kazi peke yake ni kazi on its own yeah yeah, yeah ni kazi yeah <laughs> by the way this thing i really used to write in isha back in primary school at yeah. kutafuta kazi imekuwa kazi not knowing this thing was really true so like kuna maliza shule unakuja Nairobi unaenda Nairobi kutafuta pesa you are there automatically you're going to find it that's what the mentality is but then kuangalia vizuri girl child by the way kukua girl child number one to ni ni, ni opportunity to on its own though one face challenges but then it is something it's to some point it's an advantage despite the several challenges one face so unafika hapo na unafika hapo uko same interview na dem kidogo kidogo ni kama uko 50 50 yeah the lady the lady most probably 90% ni atapata atapata that thing ahead of you in case kutakuwa yeah. one opportunity atapewa that because wana believe wana zangangano tafute ni job ingine the lady wanasema akikosa hii sijui mara oh mara that mara that so mosoko kwe a lady mwenye kuna some brains automatically yeah. she'll get it yeah interesting interesting opinions right there mm. now kuna there's a there's a way that uh, ukishi Nairobi for long Mm. basically for people who are not born in Nairobi i was born in Nairobi anyways yeah. just kidding anyways but uh, kuna venye um ukishi Nairobi for so long mm. unakuwa so absorbed into the culture ya kupiga sherehe like kupiga sherehe na Nairobi ni kama wife and husband <laughs> ni hivi twin sisters <laughs> yeah 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 unakuwa absorbed into the culture una get to actually wanasema ku get down with the program una unakuta umejua vitu zenye watu wa Nairobi ufanya mm-hmm. language yako the way you speak in a change and then ukirudi ushago mm-hmm. especially was it last year and your shembe tangi likuje shembe tangi likuje this year ma last year this year kuja somehow the last year kidi kapote yeah. last year kapotea then nikakuja this year kakuja this year mm-hmm. so urarudi ushago na uko na ile uko na ile kayombo tov kulombo tov na hizo zote <laughs> and then wasi wa ushago they are looking at you like hey so umekuwa gaidi ni aze yeah uh, okay Let me start. Unajua the time nilienda home, nafika kwa shosh yangu kwanza. Yeah. After nimetoka home and I'm like nafika na nyenyele. The look nilipewa before tuanze kuongea yeah. is just telling you that this person as their simulation. Yeah. Wana feeling umechange. Sasa hadi jina sasa ina change wanakuita tabia za watu wa Nairobi, unaona? Yeah, by the way. Yeah, so ikishafika that that the main thing Nairobi what to change kwa sababu that the adventure. Umekuwa uko home umekuwa na strict parent and uh, now umepata the freedom and you're like i've never tried this yeah. how how does it feel how does it feel hanging out with the friends kwanza uko home umezoea kurudi home 7 6 5 like, how does it feel kukua late kukua late hadi late na friends just hanging out and all that then ukirudi home you're trying to adapt and these people are seeing you as a lost sheep yeah eh, wanaangalia kwanza unapata mwanaume make a dread unikaidi yeah. wamama ukipita tu hivi ama umetoba masikio umetoba hey kama umetoba masikio watasema ya yeah, kolominati <laughs> you know like ah. the, the, the really the yeah. really the really the superstition yenye yeah. kohomi na kuanga so high yeah, yeah. kuna kuanga very high level of superstition and anything inakuanga sign umefika hapo there's a aunt of mine nilifika i had some ring 
nikifika yeah. na ring akiwa line ilipreachiwa these people preach for you and anything to them have sign spiritual background in anything you do the lifestyle uh, anything in a spiritual background uko home so yeah, they, yeah. they have to, they have to relate it to something eh wanaona eh kitu meva this is very bad you don't need to do this e kitu meva they, they they are really always against the, the the lifestyle the fashion and all that so fashion to them is some evil is it ni illuminati ni illuminati <laughs> yako devil yeah ume 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 kwa mtu mbaya yeah they say yo so there are some character wo wana wana wana, wana touch to the yeah. lifestyle yao to nairobi ukienda home yeah mm. Uh, speaking of speaking of uh, f- uh, speaking of that mm. major major limba hii song ya tabia za tabia za wa Kenya zenye like umeenda kwa client ku buy nguo instead in, uh, umeenda sorry umeenda kwa shop ku buy nguo he mm. said ya msema anaweza kwa shop aseme thank you mm. ni ona sema thank you mm. yani kuna kuna zile characteristics common sana za wa wa Nairobi yeah. kama msana kwambia naenda hivi na kam hakuji haizi kujaa hiyo ni obvious ama siwacha niende hivi na kupigia inaisha hivyo hiyo story kuna zile some of the common uh, common characteristics za wasio Nairobi yani msaki kuambia yeye unajua tu eh mi acha ni chore it is what it is okay me personally nilikuwa before ni ski ngoma smith since i was a child uh, my mom alikuwa ni raise na in a family yenye unajuko home we are just known for respect no no watoto wa huyu wanakuanga waheshima So me like that one I took I took it as a, as a as a thing every time ni kibaingi I have to say thank you anytime ni adi ya ni kirini kwa mezoea so coming back to Nairobi hii ni tabia like umeenda pale kwa client ume ume umeuliza bei the expectations zako iko so low and then the price iko so high yeah. utambia me, me I'm always a very shy person by the way kama okay. ni unazoea zoea but I'm really shy so kwa, even talking myself na nimwambie a hey, siezi afford hiyo ni ngumu what i say ndarudi another thing huu mtu like most people anakwambia eh hey, bro kuna venye nimekuwa makiasi so nisaidie punch nitakurudishie wapi unisikia yeah. wapi yeye yeah. itairudi so like ukisaidiana okay, usaidiana tu like just to give in all heartedly because yeah. ni tabia zetu tu some things are really known like we are really known for them for them as, yeah as like them yeah. we discussing kuna vitu tu ni vitu tu ni zetu hadi relationship wise ile design demo anakwambia umemtumia fair and then kidogo kidogo anakwambia hey babe siji nani amekufa siwezi kuja sai yeah by the way yeah. it, it, it always so rampant by squeeze kwanza the rest are twitch boys masikia wana si tena sikia naona wakifanywa huku nje wananyonga si ndio wanaumia like boy child wanaumia okay the, the thing is Squeezy the truth imekuwa so rare hadi hadi good things imekuwa set up like was inaonekana tu zikawa set up like being a, good hakuna mtu anataka kukuambia ukweli yeah, ni being, mchezo tu yeah. being good kwanza being good in Nairobi ukiona mtu akiwa poa sana una feel tu wallahi ni set up mm. why because tumearibu tumearibu that 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 lane that trust yeah, yeah. that trust imearibika by anybody Arabica, yeah. you can't trust anybody because una eh mtu mbona na active hii mtu atabaki hadi why is she so good to me yeah. Mama, why is she so good to me sometimes yeah. the intention are so pure yeah. but then from experience hazi haizi kwa hivi kuna sababu mbona na treat hivi kuna sababu why like mtu amekukall ah bro ni aje nilikuwa nakusalimia tu ah ah like ah ah haiwezi 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 Una, 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 like that trust to me isha yenye and, kuna, yeah, and then kuna ile design ya insecurity mm. unatembea kwa street umebeba bag yako lakini una you watching who is walking behind you sideways left right and center yani ha, ni ukweli i, mm. I I'd agree with you on that one ni nini ufanya sana wasio wana wana behave hivyo ile design uko kwa street and as much as unatembea na bag yako lakini umeishika na nguvu Mm. ama mtu akikusalimia hata maybe mtu anakusalimia tu ama hey. mtu amekufananisha ushakutana na mseko street ana, anakwambia eh hey, ningeda una ka familia mm. but you're like no 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 huyu mm. ametumwa nini huyu ametumwa ametumwa huyu yeah. most of the big people umekaa tu hivi okay the, ile umetokanga home umekuja umekuja Nairobi and uh, ume, umepatana na mtu wewe kama watu yeah. kumsaidia all heartedly yeah ah, wakora wa Nairobi na kuona vizuri sana mimi huwezi niibia hawezi so yeah. these people ni kitu number one betrayal betrayal ndio lead sana na, yeah. betrayal alafu yeah. past experience yeah trauma so th- these two things yeah trauma ina in, 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 watu sana you like one, once bitten to shy true so kaa ushapitia kitu 
you are like I'll never want to pass through this again. Yeah. So you just be over careful, over protective and you overreact in everything. Yeah. Kila kitu tu nikukumbia tu kila kitu inaonekana setup. Umepitana na mtu tawaka kugongea hivi. Yeah. Ama alipita na fuji kidogo. Yeah, si amepita tu akaguza bag yako hivi. Na penduka like hey, 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 hey. my money ni my kukin. bag. Yeah, so ni kitu tu and security yenye iko tu like we can't run from it. But ni kweli it's really good to be to be so careful. Yeah. Because you never know unatembeanga hivi but do you think we are over careful? Okay, we just tend to be. I'm only just insecure. Is it insecure. being over careful or too too insecure? <laughs> too insecure. Too insecure. Do you past experiences? Yeah, yeah, Kenyans are so careless. Yeah. That's it. We are so careless. So, we just uh-huh. insecure and that moment we are not carried away. Yeah. You don't feel ah I need really to take care of this. Then when a part of it is important, we lose them. V2 was equally important and you to uh, to protect, protect Yeah, we protect, really yeah. hold on to them. Like yeah. I'm not going to let go but then it wa- it happens because these people daily wanna developing yeah. a different way ya ya kutunyang'anya. Yeah. Yeah. Wacha turudi back kwa anaitwa James ani anajita Bensol. My base song yake inaitwa Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah. Inakuanga sa- is it is, is this thing is it was it created is it a lifestyle is it a facade ile like ma, ina, ina tuwa jile song malisafi yende chain chain <laughs> is it a culture am i n- what do you think happened okay is it from malisafi in ndanga chain chain <laughs> allow me allow me refer to a book uh, yeah. this Matthew 12:34 Matthew 12:34 Matthew 12, 34. 34. Okay. That's a okay. of the overflow of the heart the mouth speaks Eh. Ili mtu aongee kitu this thing imekuwa ikiplay in the background of my. Na then when people when we talk about something so much it come to work. Okay, Nairobi Kitambo before 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 it was officially a big bedroom, it wasn't. It wasn't a bedroom. Yeah, Elian it was kidogo. a sitting room or a stadium. It was just a, some kitchen where <laughs> it was a kitchen. It was a bed sit. Ile kwa bed size ni bed sit. Size is a tiny bed sit. <laughs> So when you are like people yeah. used to talk on this. Oh, peana, unaona? Yeah. And nikakuwa boys, men. Unajua wanachukanga luo men, wanga baya sana. So a lady ana kuna experience. Like nilikuwa nilikuwa nakwambia yeah. betrayal. Yeah. Then betrayal then experience trauma. Mtu anakuwa like me I can't love. Let me say that. Yeah. Why? this 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 and this cuz niliumizwa sana niliumizwa sana nilinyang'anywa mpenzi eh hey, and <laughs> Nili somebody nili, somebody scammed you yeah uh-huh. somebody and you are like the norm of love me, me i can't <laughs> unaona yeah. mm-hmm. alafu somebody is in the fear kwa kwa relationship been like ah miss sana nicheza yeah sasa mimi nita do yeah. okay hapo alafu pia situations ni umeenda yeah. kwa club uh, alafu as a lady lady ame over ame overtake yeah. akao na mwanaume people are dispersing una expect to happy it akwa tendency like it's something to make used to yeah adi uh, ni culture sasa this thing this thing ilikuwa nasema nikiwa high school like immorality imekuwa normality morality imekuwa normality yeah immorality imekuwa yeah. normality because adi unapata mtu akiwa akiwa not that immoral hajachanuka from that perspective. Yaani kama ufanye zile vitu zinajulikana kwa mbaya mbaya. Kwa mbaya mbaya. Wewe wewe hata tu ziko mabeshi. Go down yeah. Na this mabeshi let me tell you this thing is so long this mbeshti ndio watu kwa na shida wanakusaidia yeah ukweli okay. by the yeah. is really their relatives wanakuanga very la very la kutegemea like you can be helped more by a stranger, by a stranger. as compared to see that you can be helped when, yeah. let me see me na semanga 99% of my success uh-huh. yenye nimefika hapa yeah i can't find strangers yeah. friends when you mkutana nao so uh-huh. you going to lose these people or you are going to lose somebody mwenye akujali yeah so you will try let me take care of this relationship na mabeshti zangu nisiwapoteze yeah to the extent you are going to do what they do mm wana semanga two doesn't work together unless they agree yeah <laughs> in nairobi yeah be, like be adi, careful in nairobi sema, only <laughs> wale andika kwa bible two doesn't work together unless they agree so yeah. adi same kwa you can't do something yeah like ukiwa pamoja when you, when you when you go to rome do you do what the romans do yeah, and do on that do. note kuna kuna ile design like msaki wana issue nairobi anakwambia hey bro nianze mm. so to meet over a drink yani it's a common thing yeah we are, you are going to discuss it yeah to to go now to to, to yeah. have coffee to see to go up like anything small wasa wana meet for a drink yeah drink, drink. ni ada pombe ama 
chai ama uji depending on <laughs> the situation imagine let me tell you person when you agree kuweka birthday bash bila pombe yeah hakuna utaika who will come nadi kuna maumbo zina encourage by the way let our pombe see at maumbo zina encourage let me, okay let me, let me just ask 99 of Kenyan artist yeah okay, siko baya yeah. but music music yote music gani niambie yenye ina pombe na ushirati mm we just take of, the, of those like umekuonejea hadi msanii akifika pale studio nitaongeza nini song lazima trend yeah. wasichana eka pombe pombe uh-huh. like just the nasty, nasty things i mm. uta trend because wasio wanapenda hizo is what we love see but do you think wasio shago wanapenda the same things tunapenda nairobi kama kupiga sherehe kumeet over drink Okay. Uh, Malisafi and the change in from no, your experience. Do you think the same things is going to happen we shall go? Not everybody in uh, Amezaliwa Nairobi. Yeah. Au watu wanafanya hizo vitu watu wameshoka Ushago. Ni ile Ushaga kuna ile. the people who piga sherehe wametoka Ushago. Wametoka Ushago. Okay. Unajua Ushago ni ile. Okay, let me tell you one thing. Okay, the fact that the fact that I don't take uh, let me say alcohol. Am I don't smoke. Najaribu tu kusema. Unajua kwa nyumba The fact that siku ume, umenipata kwangu na kula mboga I manage yeah. kula nyama. Mm. Nile tu sina pesa ya kununua. Yeah. Unaona? The same thing inawa uko home uko shago. Nile tu sijapata opportunity lakini nikipewa hivi. Hivyo. Yeah. So that's what happens. Nairobi is just a platform yenye tumetoka ushago tukakuja hapo and now we want to explore. Yeah. So see atu ushago fanya yangi. Ni roki yeah. fanya ushago kuna hii mimi na trend at uko home nime hug demo mama wakaita mkutano. Unaona? <laughs> like wana taking things so so, so heavily. Yeah. Ukifikiri kidogo TV just a mess. Imagine bana I don't know umeongea tu umekutana best yako long time friend. Yeah. Ukifika tu home even story metambaye says you're just having a talk ukam hug. Yeah. Hey that's a really big deal. Ni big deal. Yeah, at a campus at a campus utakuta wase wengi wa hug. Yeah. Wase wengi wa hug as compared to vile ulitoka ushaguka kuta wase tu wako wako relaxed wako chillaxed ni praise god amen ni nini, nini but siku hizi wase wana hug so ukienda hadi ukikutana na wase wenyewe cup country hawana mm. ana handshake tu lakini umeenda hadi ume hug mm. msee like eh hey. kwa nini unaendaje usha, usha change ukakuwa mr love ama but, nini na ndio yeah inakaa in awkward by then mko na experience okay wewe umeingia that notion yeah. kama sasa wasalimia nangi that's the salam we know Yeah. So umefika and you, you expect the same hey, only to get that reaction and you're like oh I forgot. Mm, yeah. So that 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 itself the culture shock in itself. Yeah, uk, ukifika like that itself ni ni kitu mbaya. Yeah. yeah. Ukifanya hivyo that's only to be done to the person on a date. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's a lifestyle in yuko huko like you can't run away from it but then those people ni wakikuja huko they are the best baddest people we know. Yeah. Ukifika home they are judging, ukifika huko they are different. So yeah. hypocrisy is so high. Uh, back to locations. Mm. Kuna ile design like msia na, mtu anatoka Karen na mtu mwenye anatoka Kibra hawezi wa compare on the same platform either kikazi hadi hadi kimasomo utakuta msia mwenye ametoka USIU mm. na mtu mwenye ametoka uh, anyways acha nitumie another example mtu mwenye ametoka Kileleshwa mm. na ukompare na mtu mwenye ametoka Kayole mm. ukiwa on the same platform kuna ka different kuna ka difference in terms of even attributes in terms of thinking in terms of even character hadi kuvaa huwezi compare mseo ametoka Kayole na mse ametoka Kile mm-hmm. kuna ile big difference na inapeana kuna ka pressure fulani tu ka kudunga ambako mm-hmm. kana kujanga di campus yeah. okay this kuna nikiwa from one kuna deputy principal wangu alikuwa anasemanga if you walk with nine thieves you are the tenth one Yeah. Na if you work with former five former directors you are the fifth one. Yeah. The company you keep will impact to you be. So yeah. like ukiwa uki, ukiwa mtu let me say ulisema ulipea na example ya Kayole. Yeah. Umtu like diku ukijana me grow up yeye kitu amezoea amke asubuhi akimaliza shughuli zake afike base wa pig story like hakuna wako idol let me say that. Hakuna yeah. job. Mm. Kenya watafanya watafikiria vitu wanaweza fanya za zinyi zinyi aziwasaidi like yeah. ako hapo kinyi tunaweza fanya tuende tuchane mm. tuende tufuate wasichana okay iko hivyo but then mtu wako kileleshwa yeah. or any other penye wazazi wake wako let me say wako, wako that high class kidogo ama wako yeah. middle class yeah unajua hata kuenda in these companies 
Yeah. Then akipata opportunity akona simu. Yeah. Akona that knowledge, anapata simu at very early age. Yeah. Anapata that knowledge, unaona. Na akipata yeah. that knowledge, unapata ameambiwa ah kuna seminar na lazima uende, unaona? Yeah. Kuna this youth forum, I want you to go. These mm. people bring them in the same table, hawata kuwa na reasoning moja. Yeah. Umtu ametoka ameza kukana vijana mtaa. Yeah. Hakuna kitu anafanyanga, ana that ana that social knowledge. Huu mtu mm. amezoea kuagi na intellectuals, amezoea ku amesikiza ame mingi. Unaona? Yeah. Like ame ala watch movies, ako. Ame watch eh, ako like Netflix, yeah, exactly. Ni kwa nini? Ame yeah. watch hakuna uh, uh, lot of experience. experience so yeah. automatically yeah. when you mtu atavaa, when you mtu ataongea, when you mtu ata carry out themselves, iko tofauti. Do you think ina peer pressure wase wa ghetto? Atako wasani. Mm. In terms of hata kwa music kwa, kwa, kwa zile video ambazo zina zina postiwa na wasani wengi utakuta mse mwenye maomoka ile design ya kuomoka kiotile brown style mm. anava very different na wasef lani. Uki compare di yao wa gengeton utaona tu. Uta compare di na quality ya ngoma ni nini. Do you think inapea na pressure sana? Yeah, it does. Okay, in, 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 in to some point yeah. it does. Alafu pia nilikuambia nga industry is all about attention. Yeah, we need attention, you know, on a clout. Yeah. Like yeah. mimi ndaenda ni shoot video pale ghetto. Then mtu mwingine aenda shoot to video in a normal place in Nyota Mezoea. Yeah. These people are what are called some mtu what are ghetto believe to be passing a lot of challenges. Yeah. And uh, automatically ukipata mtu wa ghetto ana struggle to make it through, kuna that support uta unaweza pet unaweza pata with that. It is not automatic, but kuna that attention ina come with that. Um to amegro. We know a lot of them, a lot of wasani wa megro kayole, wa megro kibra. They are coming up like ni yeah. watu big zai kwa industry. Yeah. From really, from that yeah. background when you yeah. The stuff is peer. The most of the ghetto people oh wanna believe see what, okay, she send me these to I'm to not them. Yeah. yeah, but they, they really they really love gangeton music. Yeah. It's not kind of ile ngoma culture yao. Yeah, wanapata tu ile ngoma ya culture yao. Unapata mtu ana mazao from for hivi what they think of me nataka kwenda studio. Kutoa uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I need I need to music. record. Yeah. Wakifika pale studio what they sing is one. They, they na wako na shenga language yao. Yeah, they, they, is it the shembe thing na the gang in it was before before shembe thing kulikuwa na ingine. Siku na I know of shenga and yeah. shembe thing. Two yeah. languages. So it, yeah. it, it, it it's it's something let me say umepea um, um, example ya Otile Brown. Yeah. Otile like the cal- culture yake kwa tofauti cuz akijiangalia let me see since the let me say the top from YouTube is the top earning musician in Kenya from mm-hmm. the last from the last update imetokea. Mhm. Yeye mm-hmm. ndio yeye ndio ana mm-hmm. juu sana kwa kwa musicians wa Kenya. Wa Kenya. Mm-hmm. Yeah so ukiangalia huyo bahati hiyo level yake inapea ya pressure so could wako could down. So wanaangalia huyo mtu mm. and like utapata very rare huyo mtaji compare na utile mtu mtu anatoka ghetto but si utile before kwa hivyo mm. uh, ushayo na picha zake za kitambo yeah, si alikuwa na ka very different vile like sasa hivi na very different yeah. na utapata yeah. mtu mtu wa ghetto utamuliza huyu unane na kuinspire utasikia anataja calligraph jones utasikia yeah. anataja major yeah. na ukiangalia huyo mtu na kuna tu wenye wako tofauti yeah. they just different yeah, yeah they just yeah. different mm. alafu bongi na kuanga could so diminished kenya Bongo uh-huh. is so diminished Kenya. Yeah. Yeah, if you nini. Alafu the people believe Gengeton ndio ni ya Kenya. So ni kama so is it ni ni music ya Nairobi ama ni music ya general audience wa Kenya? Cuz utarejea lazio wengi wengine wa Nairobi watacheza hip hop ya Calligraph Jones, wakuje wacheze songs of Tile Brown, walivyo pale kwa bahati and then warudi kwa Gengeton pale pale and then ni hivyo. Do you think in the same music inasikizwa Nairobi inasikizwa Ushago? Um, ama pia kuna ile pia pressure ku, ku try kujaribu ku associate na music genre wa sio Kanairo. Yeah. Okay, Kanairo ndio wanapenda Gengeton. Ukirudi this place nimekuwa Siaya. Ukiacha <laughs> Siaya na Kuru, I mean those places yeah. and unapata somebody anakuuliza uko na Gengeton na mi, mi, mi most music I watch them live so spendai ku kuweka Gengeton. Yeah. Uko na Gengeton nzi. Ah unakosaje Gengeton in like sasa kwani ni lazima ah nzi weka una hiyo playlist yako hakuna. So yeah. wana feeling uki ukikuwa exposed. Yeah. You need Gengeton. You need Gengeton. Yeah, so Gengeton ni like it's part of the culture. Wa kienyeji wameomoka. Yeah. Now so they... between mse anaishi Karen, mm. ameishi Karen for long. Ama just to say mtu anaishi Karen na mse mwenye anaishi Kayole. Nani yako sefa? Akosefa in terms of um, even mindset. 
ideologies, in terms of character, in terms of development, Kimaisha, who is self? Or who is more brilliant to to, to, to a compare Kimaisha? Do you think Mse wa Kayole akona... Mse wa Kayole neza kuwa amepigwa ame character development fulani yapo Kimaisha amekuwa mahadko. But Mse wa Karen ni msoft. Awa watu, kuna venyetua wezi wa... Awezi wa wake in the same plate. Yeah. Always okay. Well, like they can't sit at the same table. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, this person before fiki ka, before fiki Karen, kuna vanya lipiti ya maisha. Tuse malizali wa Karen. Okay, alizali wa Karen. Mm. Na muta mezali wa mezali wa ghetto. Kayole, yeah. Out wa kutofauti. Kayole, mm-hmm. Out wa kutofauti. Yeah. So, um muta mezali wa Kayole, this person knows life. Um muta ku expo, anajua kuta kutafuta. Uh-huh. But pia wa Kayole ana but pia wa Karen anajua kutafuta. Yeah, uh, uh, amesoma so ameenda shule. Ameenda shule. Uh-huh. Lakini mbona this person Pia wa Kayole labda amesoma ameenda shule. Okay, now to, watoe hapo waweke wote Kibra. Utoe wa Sewa Karen. Toa umse wa Karen, toa umse wa Kayole, uh-huh. waambie waishi Kibra. Waishi wote Kibra. Ama uh-huh. wapeleke Juja. <laughs> nani nani atadapt haraka? Uh-huh. Umtu wa umtu wa Kayola to adapt very fast. This yeah. person amezea life. Pia nalingana na hadi high school tumesomea. Mm. Kuna mi high school nimesomea like I can live anywhere in this country. Okay. You see, why why that? <laughs> why say that? Why say <laughs> that? Ripale okay, tulikuwa na experience a lot of challenges. It was a boy school. Yeah. Sometimes tena kuna maji, mm, like food in a in a struggle sometimes. Yeah. Okay, to some point kuna two time tulipatanga na that crisis. So, yeah. so it was so 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 hard. the challenges we got na pitia so yeah. unajua challenges pia una make mtu akue hard yeah this, this thing um you say like mtu akizoya ku face some stuff head on and adapt yeah. mm. na ki adapt and aku, it's so easy for them to wakipata the, the the same thing next time yeah wa pass through easily then mtu yeah. aki, ukifika kwa hii meza una branch nyingi unaona nikifika hapo yeah. na branch ile side nyingine navuka the other side yeah then mtu akikuja aone hii kitu hii kitu iko hapa na ezaruka juu ama ni ni inue ni pite mm-hmm. so next day tukikuja tukapata hii staff imefungwa yeah. hii place imefungwa mm-hmm. umna mzao kupita kando kando atateseka sana kupita but mimi nimezoea ntaruka juu na niende zangu so put it that together na umtu akaela amezoea challenges amezoea stress amezoea ku hustle amezoea kanja amezoea kukanja <laughs> yeye hii kitu kikuja aini stui bwana mimi hiyo kitu nimezoea yeah. na umtu like, like oh, oh, oh. And, and 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 do you f- do you feel like um in terms of in terms of adi matatu mm. kuna kuna mita zenye ziko nanganya kali kali by the way kama ongatarongai mta gani nyingine ziko nanganya kali mm. kuna kwanga pile pressure kupanda zile nganya the latest i think yeah. ongatarongai kuna the latest ones mm-hmm. eh yeah. juje kuko na the latest nganyas unaweza sema in terms of competition cuz mm-hmm. matwana culture ilikuwa like one of the biggest celebrations uh, za matatu in Nairobi event flani ilikuwa ina happen kila mwaka ina celebrate uh, matatu mpya zilikuwa zina come on board kufiri wa setu tao na kuna ile pressure kupanda ile the fanciest na utakuta ina charge USA kitu so moja 150 rongai ni nini nini uh, adi doni yeah juja just mazoea dili okay kuna magari mingi yeah Nilikuwa na okay leo nikikuja nilikuwa nafikiria I was thinking of something. Hakunanga watu loyal 